In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can perform the Pareto analysis using Python or we can say how we can do the Pareto charting using Python. So in order to draw the Pareto chart, so first of all, we need the required libraries. So I am importing the required libraries such as pandas and from the matlib.pyplot.spt plt as well as from the matlib plot we are uh, importing the modules trigger and then percentage format right so uh, once we have imported the required libraries then we first of all in the first example i will talk about how we can define the data set then in the second example i will talk about how we can import the data and then draw the Pareto chart so in order to uh, develop the data with respect to the Pareto analysis so first of all i am uh, using the pandas library i am developing a data frame which is pt dot data frame is the name of the function and then i am developing the first variable which is project and then this these are the values of the the project and we are storing them into the variable called df okay so once we run this command and then run this command we can see the values of the project right so the next step is we need to define the uh, against every particular value so which this 170 value is indicating so we are saying that this is project a project b and project c so these are total we have one two three four five six seven values so that's why so we have to create seven projects so that means we want to create a Pareto chart in order to prioritize in which project we should invest or we can say which project we should going to start first because we know that the Pareto chart or the Pareto analysis is used to prioritize the access okay so for that we have developed the index that is df.index and in index I have stored the seven projects and then I am saying df so which means so in the df we have the values the response variable against the project and this is the index so that means project a value is 177 project b value is 99 and so on so once we have uh, defined the data frame the next thing is what we need to do is we need to sort them in an ascending order although they are already in a descending order although they are already in a descending order but we have to make sure that the values must be in a descending order if you didn't uh, sorted it okay so because for the Pareto chart it is compulsory bad because we want to draw the first bar with the highest frequency then the second bar should be the second highest frequency so that's where we can use the function sort underscore values so with respect to project variable we want to sorting them in a descending order so that's why i'm saying, writing down ascending is equal to false so once we run this command so we would be able to uh, you can say re sort them in a descending order right so let me run this command again df and then and then we can run this command okay now the next step is because for the Pareto chart once we have finding the x-axis this is the y-axis value the next thing is we need to find out the cumulative percentage values against the y values so how we can do that so uh, first of all i am assessing uh, accessing the uh, project variable so then i am saying define project dot com sum which is a cumulative sum okay and then divided by project okay and that is the same variable dot sum multiply by 100 so that means so we are saying 117 for the first one divided by the sum of this one and then cumulative sum mean 177 plus 99 divided by the sum of that would be the um, uh, cumulative uh, percentage against the project p so once we have done that one now we can draw the Pareto chart so in order to draw the Pareto chart first of all i am plotting uh, the plt subplot so that is basically create the overall framework for the plot and the next one is we are saying we want to draw a bar chart okay so in a bar chart we have on a x axis we have the index and what is the index that is the name of the project and then on a y axis we have the 
project values which is that is this particular variable okay and then we are assigning some particular color right similarly we are uh, defining the uh, the name of the variable uh, y axis label and then we are giving the this particular trick uh, color okay so which is this particular color on a y axis then we are uh, showing that the label of the x axis then trick color of the um, x axis which is black color okay and then we are rotating them so that means rotation that that it should be rotated at a 40 degree so you can change it to 60 or 90 so you can see the uh, effect okay then once in, um, we have done this one the next one is uh, twin x that is basically the against the y axis we can draw the uh, another axis and uh, in order to draw the cumulative percentage so we are saying that ax2 dot plot uh, dfx which is against uh, the project names that is the x-axis and then on a y-axis it must be showing us the cumulative percentage so it will show us once we run this till this command we will see uh, let me run this so what we will see that is uh, from um, 60 to 100 with the help of this uh, command so then what I am going to do so I am changing the format that is percentage formatter, right? So set the major formatter into the percentage of formatter. So that is basically the function in uh, with the help of this function, it will show us in the percentage colors. And then we are uh, performing on that one mean that is changing the color. So as we can see that this is a percentages. So if I am going to apply the 80, 20 rule, okay? So that is approximately over here. So we can say that we should select the first two project if we want to invest it okay so that means so these two projects are the most critical one so if we invest in these two projects so we would be able to obtain 80 percent of the profit okay now let's see another example if i want to read the csv file so in that csv file basically i have the root causes of the categories and the total downtime so the categories uh, against which we are uh, checking the downtime right so first of all i have to read this one so for that i am using the function of the pandas pd dot read uh, underscore csv and then giving the path of that particular file okay so once we have run this command and then we can see the um, entire data set so this is a root cause category this is a total downtime now the next thing is i need to sort the total downtime because this is not in a descending order okay so first of all i am sorting them using the uh, again downtime that is a name of the variable in which we have stored the data then sort underscore values and we are sorting them with respect to the downtime and ascending is equal to false mean we want to sort them in a descending order so once we have sorted them the next thing is we need to calculate the again cumulative percentage using the same way which we have used earlier that is downtime this one dot cumulative sum okay divided by downtime dot sum so that means for the first value it will do this this divided by sum of this for the second it will do this plus this divided by the total okay so it will calculate the percentages okay now we can see the percentage against every particular value now in order to draw so i am using the same commands which i have used earlier so only the changes are obviously uh, the x axis and the y axis the rest of the things will be the same so as you can see that if we apply the 80 20 rule so so that mean so we can say that even as you know that for the Pareto chart no it is not compulsory that we should always apply the 80 20 rule uh, we can apply uh, the main concern is to uh, prioritize the vital one and the trivial okay so we can say that uh, we can focus on the first two or if you want to apply the 80 20 then we can have to focus on these main root causes in order to solve our 80 percent of the problem so i hope it is clear that how you can draw the Pareto analysis using python so I will also upload this code 
uh, under the description so you can check that one thank you so much see you in the next video